uh, yes students so report writing for the newspapers right i'm sumit like i said i am going to come up with a 10 point formula so that you would never forget it see how the first point is the heading and the heading should have the statistics of casualties remember the statistics of casualties casualties means the number of people dead and estimate of the injured as well the highlight of the accident should be there in and it should not be more than 8 to 10 words remember at the at the at the bottom of it at the bottom of the headline like just below it onto the very right you have to write the byline which is the second point it should tell who the reporter is your name if it's given in the question aapka naam agar diya hai to write your name or special correspondent or the reporter comma and write the name of the newspaper also times of india the hindu or whichever it is the third point is leave a line and to the very left of it before the body of the report write the place and the date and remember the place should be the city or the actual district where this happened where the accident occurred put a comma and write the date with year as well and then starts the body of the letter which is actually my fourth point this is www www to make it simple it is what where when it should have the whole of the data that you have written in the heading the number of dead the number of casualties and the estimate of injured write the estimate of destruction in the property as well just in one sentence write the extent of damage as well of life and property where it happened be more precise like if you if you have written that name of the uh, city in the third point like in the place and date then write the exact place where the accident happened in the first paragraph of the body like 10 kilometers from kishan ganj railway station railway junction five kilometers from uh, so and so right and uh, it is a sort of repetition of the heading but in a little bit more detailed way then the fifth point which is very important change the paragraph that is the second paragraph or the third paragraph in the report the body of the report and write the eyewitness account because the reporter visits the site about five to six hours later or even if one day later like if it's a flooded area if it's a flood hit area the reporter cannot visit in some time he will take a day or even like seven to eight hours so he has to ask an eyewitness and it is going to be written in the direct speech like I say double inverted commas the eyewitness will tell you the exact time of the accident when he heard the explosion or when he heard the loud sound or when he saw the huge oceanic waves in a surge coming onto the shore or whatever time he saw the accident or he heard of it and if possible the eyewitness can even uh, write some i mean tell some personal emotional uh, expression as well and the sixth point is very important the description by the reporter himself don't forget the reporter also has to describe the scene as he sees it as he feels it as he hears it so it should contain the of course the people crying or uh, in trouble the injured being taken or being taken to the hospital and remember passive voice and past tense i have written these in blue color so that you can make notes of it were third form were third form was third form had been third form right past tense and passive voice as far as possible of course people were seen crying for help the injured were taken to the nearby hospital food packets were dropped from the helicopter in the flood hit uh, situation fire brigades were pressed into action and the area was cordoned off by the police or area was sealed by the police well 
that is description and the seventh point very important of course when it comes to accident the rescue operation or the rehabilitation camps are organized the medicine and the food arrangement tops the list here medical teams in action ngos like red cross society could be there in action and ambulances or fire brigades taking injured to the hospital that comes under the rescue operation you can even have crpf jawans or air force helicopters up in the air surveying the spot or even uh, dropping food packets as you have seen in the report as well i have given in uh, for example and even volunteers were helping were seen helping if you want to go for passive which is always a good idea to use passive voice volunteers were seen helping the injured were seen taking the injured to the hospital in their private vehicles like huh? and in flood situations tents were erected or the relief camps were erected that way police and army relief operation the ninth point is a very important point the police statement if it's a crime site or if it's a suspected sabotage or terrorist act whatever the case is it's a bomb blast or a train accident uh, fire uh, accidents the police would visit the site and they would interrogate the people and the police official the top official around over there will issue a statement the reporter must approach him and take his statement official statement he will tell the causes behind the accident remember the police has to find why actually it happened aapko yaad hoga pehle www maine kaha tha where what where when now comes why the police would tell why uh, reporter cannot surmise he doesn't have to guess of course and uh, he has to ask the police official and police official will say the interrogation is on and last but not least the relief pack is the chief minister or the minister relevant minister it could be railway minister surveying the site use the past tense and he will later announce perhaps the announcement will come a little later through television that the the monetary relief package is announced for the treatment of the injured which is also called the compensation package for the injured as well as for the families of the dead dead ke liye maine ek use kiya tha word deceased d e c e a s e d or you could be simple always be simple but remember to write all these 10 points but remember however much you learn the rules newspaper reading is the best way to improve upon report writing thanks so much